Welcome back to the Fix Stops Roundtable. This is the A team on dealer scanning in 2023. Want to introduce everybody to the pillars of the Fix Stops Roundtable. They are Caesar Augustus of Dealer Scanning, Tully Williams of the Nilo Company, and Ed Roberts from Bozard Ford Lincoln. Gentlemen, welcome back to the Fix Stops Roundtable. Welcome back. Thank you, Ted. Glad to be here. Thanks, Ted. Good to see you, Tully and Ed. Yes. Caesar, we have two dealers here today, good colleagues, good friends, who've been scanning for a long, long time. So I thought I would start out by asking them a little bit about their experience in scanning. And uh, Tully, if it's okay, I'll come over to you because we had a this little discussion in the green room before we got started about the importance of scanning those documents. It is amazing. I, it, it is, it is mind boggling that Caesar said that there's dealerships out there that are not scanning today. I have been scanning probably 20 years. You know, the issue is going to be is that why do we scan? One is that we have access to our records today, now tied to the customer. We can go in we can look at it instantly Two, the service providers and technicians have access to files now, not waiting as we sell hours and we're repeating referral business. We need access to those files instantly, not like, okay, I'll go find that file. And third, one of the most important is the relationship with your OEM. When they have audits, which are going to happen, not because they're bad or good, because they're standard audits. An audit with a digital scanning jacket makes your life so much easier and the trust with them as well. So if you're not scanning today, I just don't know what to say. I, I, it is almost I am speechless when it comes to this. Ed, uh, you've got a little experience about that, and we talked about it recently with Caesar as well. Absolutely. We've been scanning for not quite as long as Tele. We've been scanning for just over 10 years here now. Um, and it is the efficiency part of it. I mean, everybody can have access to it. You don't have to worry about whether it got fouled or it got refouled when somebody else looked at it or if you need it for an audit or if you need it for uh, for service documentation or whatever or, or Heck, hopefully not to go to court, but uh, if you don't have those things, you're you're guilty until you can prove otherwise, and, and you got to be able to put your hands on it. And when you scan it, it's accessible for everybody. It's accessible for everybody in the store. Bob could have went and drew it out of the uh, foul closet, have it on his desk because he needs to have a meeting with everybody. Somebody else is back there looking for it. You're losing efficiency in doing those things, and don't think for a minute that they don't happen. But more so than that, that's considering that the file room is maintained properly. A lot of times these foul rooms, because we don't think we need that stuff, we got to hang on to it because it's required, gets shoved all over the place. Caesar, I'm sure you've seen all kinds of places where documents are stored. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be amazed. And, and I agree, Tully. It, it's amazing that in 2023, we still find uh, dealerships that are, are, are filing these ROs. And, you know, given the new digital world and the safeguard rules uh, that, that are coming, uh, being implemented now in June, um, you're not longer able to stuff papers around the dealership, right? It's a, it's a security liability and, and your dealer dealer can, can be fined thousands of dollars. Um, it, it just makes it, it, it's an, it's a no brainer, right? We're all amazed that about 40% of the dealers are still paper filing, but uh, we're, we're helping lots of dealers out there. Caesar Ed and Tully mentioned, the file room. That's if there is a file room. You've seen, as Ed just said, a lot of circumstances where those are, files are, are kept uh, in all different variety of places. Yeah. And new buildings, you know, obviously we, we know dealerships are, are moving to new building, new locations. New architects don't build the file room. So um, and you can bring that stuff along and you don't want to wait until you move to a new building to to start scanning. Um, it just it's, it obviously makes no, makes no sense to do that. The impact on, on, on your techs, believe it or not, um, techs love our system because they don't have to now wait to look at an old RO. Remember, a lot of these techs are also, some techs, depending on the DMS, they're writing notes on these ROs, right? Right. Um, and they're making a, a quote uh, or a suggestion uh, handwritten on an RO that gets filed and then gets misfiled and then a customer comes back six months later to look at what was the recommendation you can never find it or you it took you an hour to find now when the document scanned front and back the tech just goes up types in the arrow number and all the information is there totally uh, talked about that that's just your tax imagine your service advisors he needs to look at a note from a 
service uh, from a tech writer uh, and everything's there. So it just makes it so much easier for everyone. Tully, we recently did a panel discussion. I believe, Ed, you were very much a part of that. And we had the head of cybersecurity at one of the large DMS companies talking about how they are building now a cyber headquarters to be able to serve their dealers. This is one of the largest of, of its kind companies in the United States. And Tully, uh, that uh, Safeguard Act that Caesar mentioned got pushed back a little bit until June. But the, one of the requirements there, Tully, is that the dealership has to have one person who's responsible for put in, implementing those safeguards at the dealership. And there's protocols that have to be written, Tully, at the dealership. And I don't, I don't understand that if you have a paper scanning or, or non-scanning system, how that's going to comply in any way. You know, I am from California, so we've been doing this for a while. Uh, so there's a lot of the safeguard rules have been, in fact, in fa intact in California. And I think that it actually forced a lot of people in California to realize, hey, those are records that must be secure. And it was interesting that Caesar talked about when they build new buildings, they don't build file rooms anymore. You're absolutely correct. But what is really kind of cool when you do convert over is the file room now turns into an, an office or a break room or something that is a positive to your store. And what we've seen in stores that we have break rooms, I mean, we have file rooms and they're close to the service drive, that turns into a BDC room or yep. an extra room for a call center or a tech room or a warranty admin gets a big, huge office, God bless her. So things like that are a huge deal. You know, and another thing I think when you look at scanning is this, is that when a customer calls up and says, you know, uh, I was there blank years ago or months ago or even days ago, and there was a question, or can you send me that inspection form? Here's what happens when you don't have a file room. Well, can I get your VIN? I don't know what that is. Well, let me go out and get it for you. Let me write your phone number down. After a half an hour of decoding what the customer asked for, then you say, I will call you back probably tomorrow. But that doesn't work if we're in the repeat and referral business. What we do is we say, hold on, Mr. Customer, click, click, click. You know, here's it is. Let me just email it to you as we speak, and I will be more than happy to go over it with you on the phone as we're speaking today. Now, that is customer service. That is why you need scanning. The efficiencies that you're talking about, Tully, I mean, if you put a dollar amount to that, you can't even you can't even imagine what those numbers would be. And and I'm sure Caesar has heard all kinds of different reasons and objections, you know, for why not now or why not today. But Tully, here in January of 2023, no reason not to be scanning. One customer, one customer defects will probably pay for scanning for a lifetime. One customer, which means how many car deals, how many family members and friends are not going to come back because of one customer saying, I can't get the file for you. I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, or whatever it is. One customer can pay for scanning for a lifetime when you look at the total value of a customer. Ed, that is the that is the right way to look at it. Absolutely. And until I talked about some efficiencies, but let's talk about some transparencies. The uh, customer comes in, whether it's when you buy a vehicle or when you service a vehicle, and there's a WEO on it or there's a, a, a inspection on it. And we, we've gave a customer a price for whatever it may be. Now they call in, nobody has access to it. Maybe they can go pull it out of the file room, but they got somebody on the phone. They got to give them an answer. We end up recalculating it, give them a different quote than what we gave them the next time, the last time. And where does that go? Um, if it's there, then everybody has access to it and it's consistency. But so it's transparent ties in with efficiencies. And like you said, Ted, you really can't measure that level of efficiency because it, it just keeps right on moving and you're not losing those customers because it's a consistent story each time you talk to them. And Ed, you mentioned the T word transparency as well. That's another issue here. That's super important with being able to scan all of those documents internally at the dealership, Ed. Absolutely. And the manufacturer wants to come in and look at stuff, whether it's a quality concern or whatever as well. And they want to see the documents as the tech left it and they want to have all those notes. But also when the tech's coming behind another one, we need to see those notes that the last tech put in there so that we don't start at a baseline again. Maybe maybe went the wrong direction last time, but now we got the information to go with rather than just see the part number. Um, so it's transparent for everybody. You know, Caesar, 
Go ahead, Tony. Had a great Ed had a great point with that one, especially when it comes to technicians, is that if you have a problem car, which, you know, it happens so often, is that the technician might have information that the factory's requirement. Is it, is it a bulletin? Is it a secret bulletin? Is it whatever it is? All of that can be attached to the repair order. So it might be a book, but a book is great when you have to justify yourself to an OEM or an OEM is trying to justify how do we fix this car? And you can say, here is what the technician did. Here's what you said. I'm sorry it's 40 pieces of paper, but you have everything that happened during that repair, and that is a huge, huge deal. Caesar? Oh, this... I wish I could take Ed and, and Tolio uh, on the road <laughs> to talk to, to GMs and owners because there's a disconnect with some some groups and some uh, you know old school dealers that still want to have the paper, but the world has changed, right? Uh, the efficiencies and the transparency, you know, it's, it's hard to quantify how much money you're really saving the dealer. Just the file room, right? Just the 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 the, the, the money you're spending to maintain that file room and. When people take an hour, when a, when a person takes an hour to go find a document, how much do you pay that person for that hour? And you multiply that times 10 times a week. Or when a warranty audit comes in and you don't find the documents, how many thousands of dollars does that cost you? You don't want to be late in calling me after you've gotten the $70,000 ding on the warranty audit. So it makes all it makes all the sense. It's great to just hear experience in superstars like Tully and Ed to tell us exactly how he benefits. I mean, it's, it's the truth. You know, Caesar, I think there's probably some new math out there. We could probably put a dollar amount, you know, for every customer, for every service and sales customer and every RO. And we could probably put that right on your website and show how <laughs> much you actually saved your clients this past year, this past month, this past week. Now you shared a video with us. I want to show the audience uh, on a, file arrangement at a dealership and, and uh if it's okay i'm gonna that, show that ted, to the group i'll give before you do that ted so th this client was looking at scanning for 10 years and to the to the cost of this they they thought that it was too expensive and it depends on the solution that you're looking for because one way is having people come in and scan it another way is to come have people come in and take the files well that's very expensive so when we come with our offer which is 500 dollars a month you don't have to buy any equipment unlimited scanning, which is more than any of our competitors. Uh, and then the customer service that comes along, people don't believe that we are this affordable. I've gone into dealerships, Lexus dealerships, Mercedes dealerships, and believe it or not, they think that we're a fluke because the pricing doesn't match to the what we offer. Uh, so they're telling us essentially that, are, that we should charge more, but we want to have a long-term relationship. That's, that's where we, we make the money in the back end. And then we provide nothing but customer, great customer service. And, but yeah, what you're about to show is what a, 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 a client that was looking for scanning for 10 years. Tully, Caesar's in the repeat and referral business. Here's that video. So this is the problem that we're solving. Here's this dealership storing the repair orders outside in the service shop. So um, not the safest place, not the best place, not the most efficient place, uh, but this is how some dealerships store their repair orders. Imagine trying to find a repair order in this setting or a warranty audit. Imagine, let me show you how we help this dealer. Caesar, I'm curious. Does that guy still have a flip phone? Does the dealer there have, still have a flip phone? <laughs> or, or a big old giant yellow page phone book sitting behind, <laughs> on his credenza there? That's no, funny. it's trust. You know, and, and you guys know in this business, Trust is a, is a major issue. Um, you want to trust your vendors and you guys are trusting us with, with your customer information and making sure that it's secure. And, you know, I'm not going to go into details about security because that's how you get hacked, but we have an extensive uh, secure system in place. Uh, everything's stored and encrypted. Your dealership is the only to have access to it. We're backed up in three different locations around the United States. So we're taking care of your, of your data more than any small dealer or any dealer could take care of because that's not what their expertise is. You guys' job is to sell cars, not shuffle paper around. and, and Sell ours. Deal. Exactly. <laughs> and they delegate that task to us and we take it very serious and and we, we give you peace of mind. So that's totally can sell more hours. <laughs> Amen, brother. Caesar, big upfront fee to get started uh, with dealer scanning? Absolutely not. 
It's just a $500 a month, $500 installation, unlimited scanning. We don't, if your this, if your business grows, we don't, we don't charge you more. Uh, it's a great deal. You know, it's, we've been in business for over 10 years. We've never raised our price, uh, which is kind of interesting. And, and we don't look forward to do that. Uh, we, we have some long standing relationships and, and we just want to do the right thing. You know, we come from the JM family world, JM Lexus world. We learned some good things down there. You know, you don't talk about that enough. I know we did a panel once uh, and we had JM Lexus, the largest in the world on there. But, you know, you've got those retail roots. Everybody that you see here today on this panel has been on the cover of Fix Ops magazine. <laughs> and that's no easy feat, all right, to do that. Uh, Caesar, it's extremely affordable. Uh, Ed, I, I, I can't see how somebody in 2023 can continue to wait any longer to start scanning. I was just sitting here thinking that we're in January of 2023 and we're still trying to convince people that they need to be scanning. The, uh, that we need to pick up the phone, we need to call Caesar, we need to get the ball rolling because it is efficient, it is transparent, and, and, and it's available for everybody. We don't have to worry about it being misfouled or not refouled or not available at all. It's, it's, we got to catch up with the times. Tully, any last words, and then I'll bring it home to with Caesar. You know, one thing you did about that video, which really strikes my interest, is one is that why is it in the shop? You know why? So the technicians can go probably go find their own videos. I was just thinking about how many tenths does it take a technician to find a video? Times that by your parts and labor gross profit, and you'll find out that you will pay for it in probably a day or a week that will pay this $500, which is a monumental small number to have it. So I think that when you sit there and look at, is it really expensive? How can you afford not to be scanning when you're talking about efficiency for technicians, efficiency for your service advisors to spend more quality time with customers and have quality time with your customers if you need to find back information. There is no reason why you would not be scanning today in 2023, like Ed said. Caesar, if I'm a, a manager watching today, um, is it difficult to get started? Walk me through that because I've been on paper this whole time. How do we get started with dealer scanning? How do you do it? It's very easy. Just go to our website, give us a call. We basically give you the scanning station where you see behind me for two months for free, no cost. We'll send someone out there to do the install and train. There's no way, there's no better way to know what you're getting, but you know, you will give you the, the the take it home for the weekend type approach, but you get two months free, no cost, no commitment. That's really the best way you can get going. And give us a call or email us, go to our website. Caesar, I've been in dealerships doing training and I've <laughs> bumped into you doing an install for dealer scanning at the same time I was there. Uh, and is it difficult? I mean, I know the answer to this, but is it difficult to teach those employees how to use the new scanning? No, program? no, no. And I love going out to the to, to the dealers. People ask me, why are you coming? Why do you come here? Why can't you just do this remotely? And, and you know, in, in the new world, everything's digital. Everything's through Zoom. But, you know, you can't lose that 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 face to face, that customer touch. So I love going out there and touching base and teaching people and you just build that relationship. That's why we. We have the clients we have, uh, people, you get to know people. Uh, you press a button and it scans. It's as simple as that. Everybody, Caesar Augustus, one of the founding members of the Fixed Ops Roundtable, with us from the very beginning at the very first roundtable in New York City in May 2019, has a company called dealerscanning.com. We encourage our audience to join the many Fixed Ops Roundtable dealers who are taking advantage of the efficiencies, the affordability of dealer scanning, and to get on board. Here we just heard from the best of the best, Tully Williams and Ed Roberts. Caesar, give us that uh, URL again and how they can reach you. So, yeah, dealerscanning.com. Yeah. Or you go to Google and type repay order scanning. We're there. We're all over the place. <laughs> all right. Cool. <laughs> Everybody. Hey, thank you so much. I look forward to... I look forward to not having to encourage dealers to do this when they're all, you know, on your system, deal, uh, Caesar, and and probably not only the most efficient, but most affordable one out there. And uh, amazing how you've done that. Thank you, Ted and Ed, Tully. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants, man. It's it's an honor just to be on here with you guys and Ted. Always for your support. Uh, wish wish you guys a happy new year. Stay healthy. Stay focused. Stay disciplined, man. This is going to be an amazing year. Absolutely.
Absolutely. Everybody, Tully Williams, Ed Roberts, Caesar Augustus from Dealer Scanning with us today at the Fixed Ops Roundtable.